Hey everyone, welcome. This is a quick how-to video for MuleSoft on how to download and install the Mule Runtime on a Windows environment. This video is specific for the Mule Runtime uh, 4.x. So just to give you a quick background on uh, kind of the deployment model here, um, majority of the time within the endpoint platform, you're gonna be deploying your application to our uh, integration platform as a service or Cloud Hub. In this case, you're gonna use the runtime manager and deploy that application onto a meal runtime um, that's spun up within our Cloud Hub infrastructure and we manage and maintain the hardware and software. Uh, but there are customers and there are use cases where you do have to deploy that application to an internal runtime. Um, and this video is gonna show you how to set up that meal runtime uh, within a Windows environment uh, within your either your corporate data center or your private cloud. Okay, so before we uh, install the Mule Runtime or register that with the Anypoint platform, we're going to need to install a copy of that, uh, the Runtime. So the best place I've found to go ahead and download a copy is either from the MuleSoft support site, once you have an account on the Anypoint platform, or you can come to the MuleSoft.com website, go to the developer section, click on documentation. Over on the left, you can scroll down and click on the Mule Runtime and the Mule installation section. And then in here, you can click on the download and install mule uh, link. So from here, you can find the link to go ahead and download the binary file. We'll open that up, open that up in a new window. Um, from here, you can go ahead and click on the checkbox to agree to the license and then click on download. And then uh, while it's downloading that, you can see that the installation file is only about 250 megabytes uh, archived. Um, additionally, one thing you also wanna make sure that you have set up within the Windows environment is uh, OpenJDK 8. Uh, this will also give you a link directly to that website where you can download a copy of that. If you already have it installed, you can go ahead and check to make sure you have it installed. You can run, a, open up a terminal window and go to Java version, and that'll show you the, the version of the JDK already installed in your machine. So you can see I already have Java 8 installed on here. Okay, okay so once that's downloaded, um, in here, we go into the download folder. Let me go ahead and delete some of these extra files here from some previous examples. Okay, so this archive file, we're gonna go ahead and expand this or extract this into its own folder. So generally what I do, instead of running it directly from the downloads folder, of course, is I'm gonna go ahead and take the mule folder here and I've copied and pasted that already into the C drive and I've changed the folder name to mule. So you can see that these are the files that uh, the mule runtime essentially needs to, to operate, okay? And then um, from a command window, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to that folder so we can see that we're already in this folder. And then from here, we're gonna go to the bin folder, okay? So once we are in the, the, the bin folder, what we're gonna go ahead and do is log into the AnyPoint platform. So you can see I've already logged into my AnyPoint platform account and we're gonna wanna register the server with the runtime manager. So in the AnyPoint platform, we can click on the runtime manager link here, or we can go to the navigation menu and click into the runtime manager. In the runtime manager, on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on servers, and then we're gonna click on add server, and we're gonna go ahead and copy this script that we're gonna execute um, in the terminal window to register that Windows Mule Runtime with the Runtime Manager. So we'll go ahead and click and copy here and close this window here. And then we'll switch over to the command window and we'll paste that into the, uh, the window. And let's go ahead and change the, the last uh, command here from server name, we're gonna call this Mule Windows. And then if you're behind a proxy, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add in the P parameter and pass in the host and port. On this instance, I currently just have a, a local proxy set up. I'm just using Fiddler uh, to kind of monitor the traffic, kind of show you the, the settings here. Uh, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and run the command. And it's gonna run through the installer and it's gonna make an outbound call to the uh, runtime manager, make the connection and then create that registration. So in the background here, you can see that it went through the, the proxy and then over on the runtime manager, here is that entry now uh, showing that that mule runtime was created. So it's currently not up and running. The next thing that we wanna do within the Windows environment is install the mule runtime as a service. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and type in mule and install. 
And that's going to go ahead and install Mule as a service. So if we come to the services uh, with the Windows Server, you can see that there is now the Mule Enterprise Edition service added to the services. Okay. And then the last thing we want to do is go ahead and start up the Mule Runtime. So we're going to go ahead and type in Mule Start. And then this will run the Mule Runtime in the background on the server. So it's going to say starting the Mule Enterprise Edition services waiting to start and then if we switch back over to the uh, runtime manager you can see that now it says running and it, now it's registered and up and running so you can see um, yeah, it, it's, it's ready for you to go ahead and deploy. So on the application side now if we go ahead and, and deploy an application here and go ahead and say test app we can see that that mule windows option shows up and this allows you to go ahead and choose an application so you can either manually deploy your application from the runtime manager um, you can deploy it from the anypoint studio and you can also tie it into your cic process to automatically deploy an application using the mule maven plugin okay so hopefully that gave you a good uh, high level overview of how to install the mule runtime on a windows environment if you have any questions or run into any issues uh, please leave a comment and i'll be happy to help